Hello everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Sounds Academy Benefit Concert. I'm so glad that you chose to join us today. Although I'm saddened that we can't be face to face, I'm so elated that we have the technology to be able to bring this performance to you virtually. Before we get started, I would like to thank our event sponsors. APS, the Higher Education User Group, Hush Blackwell, and the Joyride Society. I would also like to thank the Herberger Theater and the George Washington Carver Museum and Cultural Center for allowing our students to play on their stages. For those of you new to Sounds Academy, welcome. For those of you returning, welcome back. My name is Kirk Johnson and I am the founder and CEO of Sounds Academy. Sounds Academy started with a simple idea. The zip code of a child should not dictate their access to music education. And out of this belief, Sounds Academy was born as a nonprofit music education organization that teaches, mentors, and provides musical experiences and opportunities for underserved youth. We started in 2014 with a handful of students, and today we serve over 4,300 students each year. Our main aim is to teach the character values of creativity, leadership, perseverance, resilience, and teamwork through music education. Now before we get started with some music, let's hear a word from our board chair, Mr. Ian Fisher. Hello, I am Ian Fisher, and I am the chair of the board of directors of Sounds Academy. This was another exciting and challenging year for Sounds Academy. Yes, we faced a pandemic and school closures, and yes, we couldn't accomplish as much as we wanted to accomplish, but what we did this year was amazing. Sounds Academy doesn't just teach music. We strive to teach the character values of creativity, leadership, perseverance, teamwork, and resilience through music education. And boy, did we do that this year. Every phase of the community stepped up. When you watch our students today perform, be proud of how hard they worked, but also be proud of their parents, guardians, and other family members and how hard they worked keeping these students motivated helping these students get to where they are, giving them space to be successful. Also, be proud of our teachers and how hard they worked and what they did in a challenging situation. Also, be proud of our staff and how hard they work behind the scenes and our board of directors and all that they do to keep Sounds Academy rocketing forward. In the face of the challenges this year presented, our students shined and our teachers and staff found new ways to expand musical opportunities for our students. For example, we held a virtual workshop series over the summer, giving students an opportunity to enrich their musical experiences. We started a composition class, giving students an opportunity to compose their own music and hear others play the music they composed. We started our tiny performances series, giving students another opportunity to perform and to see themselves perform. As we celebrate this year's accomplishments and look ahead to next year, all I can say is this is an exciting time to be a part of the Sounds Academy community. I hope after watching today, you will be proud of yourselves and motivated to participate more in our community. Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for helping to make Sounds Academy what it is. And a special thank you to our students for being the great ambassadors for Sounds Academy that they are. Today, you will hear remarkable performances from our students and some very special guests. Additionally, we'll have silent auction items that you can bid on. We will keep everyone updated in the chat with links and prize updates. Lastly, if you wish to further our mission, you'll be able to donate by simply texting Sounds Academy to 44321, or you can visit our website, soundsacademy.org slash donate. Before we get started, I'd like to thank everyone that helped Sounds Academy since our very beginning. You can liken our experience to a blank canvas with a bunch of ideas, and all of us contributed so that we are able to create what you see today. As a representation of this idea, I'd like to bring your attention to a very special artist who has worked on a very special piece for us. Introducing Mr. Henry Lyons.
Can I please get two claps for Mr. Henry Lyons? That was remarkable. You'll be able to bid on this art piece along with other prizes in our silent auction, which include a wine party to Total Wine and gift cards to Changing Hands Bookstore. Now, if you're ready for some music, clap twice. Before we get started, let's learn a little bit about our first performer. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Working with Addison brings a lot of joy to my teaching practice. It's so much fun working with her, and I've grown so much as a teacher um, over the past two years. We were told about Sounds Academy from my cousin, Dr. Carlin Dawson. Dawson, and she said, send her there. Uh, she will be able, they'll be able to work with her and uh, you, you'll see her blossom. And that is exactly what has happened. Um, because with her autism, um, the, her learning is different. So we wanted to pull, use every, everything that we could, you know, for her to develop better. Yeah, and Laura, Laura has been amazing. She's um, done amazing. research. She's gone far and beyond more than, I mean, we don't have anything to compare Laura to, so she's very, she's made the bar really high. <laughs> she's set the bar really high for Addison, so we appreciate everything, the patience with all of you all. You know, it's been a great experience. It's I been, mean, everything's been enhanced. Everything has been enhanced. There's no regression. None. Um, she, you know, she's, she's interested. She constantly wants, you know, when she's on the guitar, she wants to play more. You know, even when there's not a lesson, she still wants to strum and, you know, make up her own songs. Yeah. We allow her to for just a short period of time, <laughs> not all day. <laughs> yes, yeah, she does. <laughs> mm -hmm. What a way to kick off our show. Addison is such a beautiful person with a beautiful family. And Najla, to imagine that you've learned all of this through online lessons. Really great job. Two claps for both of our performers. Our next performer loves playing the piano and he loves writing music. Next, we present to you Daniel performing the Bach Prelude in C minor by Johann Sebastian Bach.
The Sounds Academy Board of Directors are a diverse group of professionals that help to guide and fundraise for our organization. They do great things. They advocate on behalf of Sounds Academy, they lend their professional perspectives, they fundraise for Sounds Academy. If there's anything that needs to be done, you name it, and they're there. They contribute time, talent, and treasure in order to see the success of our students. They all stand out to me, so it's always great to hear their perspectives when it comes to voting for the board member of the year. This year, I'm glad to say that we actually have two winners. The first winner has done so much to help Sounds Academy with the infrastructure and the setup of our board. They have helped to align things so that we can be more efficient. We appreciate the wisdom and positive attitude that they bring to each meeting. The second winner is so passionate about our mission. They do such a great job of simplifying complicated things so that everyone in the room can understand it. They are a great leader that does anything to make sure that things get done because they're all about crossing things off the list. I'm glad to have both of them on our team. The 2021 Board Member of the Year goes to, remember we have two cards this time, Makoto and Ilya. Can we please get a round of applause for Makoto and Ilya and their hard work. Thank you guys for everything that you guys do to make Sounds Academy a better organization. Well, are you all ready for some more music? This year, Sounds Academy added woodwinds to a selection of instruments that students could choose from. This next performer has blossomed while playing the saxophone. Let's hear a little bit from Miss Cassandra and the Rojas family. I joined Sounds Academy because at school, I would just like practice like not even 30 minutes, even less. I, I really didn't like playing that much, but then when I when I saw my brother playing his instrument, I was like, I want to join Sounds Academy too. I want to be better. So then I told my parents, and then they they signed me up. Cassandra has such a, an amazing work ethic. Uh, this person, I can ask her to work on something, and I have no doubt that when I see her next week, she will have beat it to death, and she's ready to play. Uh, she gives me an enormous amount of joy teaching her. I was playing my instrument, not much, and I saw my brother getting better and better by the minute when he was in Sounds Academy, and I wanted to join too, let's see if I could get better. Su dedicación en todos los aspectos, en, la, en sus trabajos de la escuela, y ahora con la música y con su instrumento, la veo más entusiasmada, más contenta, más feliz de practicar todo el tiempo y ser mejor cada día. The thing about my sister is that she literally would never give up. She would at she would get better no matter what. And she's using that character value of leadership. When people see me, when I go to do recordings, like it's just I like it. Hello, my name is Cassandra Rojas, and I'm going to be playing Sonentina from Divertimento number two.
name is Andreas. And we'll be playing Ota Joy. <laughs> My name is Andreas and we are playing blues. I joined Sounds Academy because I wanted to play the cello and I previously played the piano but I wanted to learn a little bit more. So they are learning and acquiring the five values that um, Sounds Academy pursues. The character values in order are creativity, leadership, perseverance, resilience, and teamwork. The one I use most is leadership and um, during school, we also have an orchestra, and Sounds Academy taught me to not be shy and go forward and be the leader. The coolest thing about Israel would be um, how if he puts his mind to something, he can basically do anything. I think Israel can go as far as he wants to as a musician. Um, he is the younger of the two brothers, and I think he's finding his own voice as a cellist, his own musical identity, and he's discovering that he has things to say too. And his technique has grown a lot. He's worked hard this year. If the love for music that I think is within him continues to grow, I think he can do as much as he wants to with his cello. Hello, my name is Israel Kim, and today I'll be playing Allegro Appassionato.
Teachers are an integral part of what we do at Sounds Academy. Teachers are the mentors that help to develop the skills and character values of our students. They're there to support the social, emotional needs of each of our students. Our teachers also help each other as we have developed a community where we meet once a month to discuss best practices. It's truly an egoless, iron sharpens iron environment. This year's winner has done a tremendous job adapting to online teaching. They have sparked a passion in each and every one of their students. They constantly communicate with parents about the progress of each student. Our parents love getting emails and phone calls about how well their children are doing. This teacher also does a great job of helping other teachers and leading parts of our meetings to educate everyone about things that they have learned. I am so glad that they have chosen to teach with Sounds Academy. The 2021 Teacher of the Year Award goes to Dr. Jamie Johnson. Thank you so much, Dr. Jamie Johnson. You have been a great addition to the Sounds Academy family. For our next performance, this is one that's gonna be very special, especially for those of you that enjoy Shrek or those of you that are fans of Leonard Cohen. This one is a collaboration performance with the Orpheus Male Chorus. Orpheus Male Chorus and the Sounds Academy students present to you, Hallelujah.
Wow, that was amazing. What a wonderful performance by the Orpheus Male Chorus and our students. It is always a pleasure to hear our students collaborate with other organizations to see the music that comes from it. We've had the pleasure of working with the Orpheus Male Chorus for the past three years, and it's always been great. Thank you, Orpheus Male Chorus, for always helping to support what we do. There are a number of individuals that help to support what we do and help to make Sounds Academy a better organization. We then came up with the idea last year to create the Unsung Hero Award to acknowledge these individuals. I am so happy to acknowledge that this year's 2021 Unsung Hero Award goes to Andrea Persley. Andrea has been a longtime friend, mentor, advocate, and supporter of myself and Sounds Academy. I first met Andrea when she recruited me to come to Phoenix to teach through Teach for America in South Phoenix. I did a lot of things with Teach for America with music education, and then I told Andrea of my dream to create Sounds Academy. She was ecstatic. She met with me, we had lunches, and we talked about what it would be like for me to be a leader of such an organization. Andrea went on to move to Colorado, but even though she moved, we still meet. And it's always great to hear from her. It's always great to see what's going on. And she's always helping to elevate myself as a leader and elevate Sounds Academy as an organization. It is truly a pleasure to have Andrea as a friend. Two claps to Andrea personally. And now, the moment that we are all here, we're going to get to hear from our seniors. And this year, we have three seniors to tell you about. Hi, my name is Hannah Barrett. Um, I've been a part of Sounds Academy for six years now. Being a part of Sounds has meant to me that it's just an opportunity to continue making music outside of school. Like, it's not, it can be a part of your life rather than just an elective. To see her enjoy it year after year and, you know, just learning more and more. Um, every lesson she takes, it seems like she gets better and better, and so, yeah, it's been nice. I've enjoyed watching her become more willing to um, teach her siblings yeah. and to, to help them want to be better and to grow, and, and it's been fun to see her work with them and, and really be able to help them. And they get excited. Their, you know, and everyone and becomes more. And it's been, it's been good um, working with Kirk and others here, and at times I, I can see the challenges, uh, but also see the wonderful um, way in which the children are organized at many times and, and being able to see them come together. Um, like I said, we mentioned we had several children in the program with, with sounds, and so um, I think the Sounds Academy just opened up a lot of doors for us um, at the time, and we still look forward in the future to you know, seeing more wonderful things come about. So, yeah. Looking back on what I used to play like versus now is very like, amazing to me sometimes. I'll pick up a piece that I hadn't played in a while and I'll play it and it'll be like, oh, that was really easy. And I remember learning this and it was so hard. And it's just kind of inspiring for myself. Like I've come so far in technique and in musical, musical um, skill. Hi, my name is Raymond Zhao. Uh, I've been in Sounds Academy for about seven years. It's been like an adventure, honestly. Like I've been on so many, been to so many places just to perform, and like it's been great. Like I don't think I would have gone to all those places and been able to perform like that if it weren't for Sounds. So I'd like to thank Sounds for being being able to like um, provide me with opportunity to go to all these places. Some of my favorite moments were going to the Phoenix Symphony Hall and playing in the lobby, and just like. When the people come in, they just see us right there and we're just playing, and it was really fun to do that. I think we played Star Wars that one time, and it was just amazing. Like, it felt really good just to be able to play in a place like that. It sounds really pushed me to be creative with my music. Perseverance is the main one. Like, learning to play the violin was definitely not easy, but like, I learned that if you put in the hard work, it pays off in the end. Thank you, thank you for you guys, the sounds. 
teachers, all the hard work. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Annika Kapulia, and I've been with Sounds for eight years. Sounds is pretty much my only fuel for like music creativity. So ever since I started playing or even touched an instrument, it's always been with Sounds. So I feel like I'm kind of like the baby of Sounds, but um, I've loved playing with them, which means that when you do something you love, you continue to do it. And so everyone that has helped me through my journey with Sounds has made my love for music only grow. I would say one of my favorites is probably playing at the Frank Lloyd Wright and David Wright houses. I think like I think I did that when I was in eighth grade. So like doing that as an eighth grade I thought was just so cool. And you know, I met so many people and I saw like beautiful architecture and I spent like a lot of time with like Mr. Kirk and like some of my friends. So it was really fun. Sounds has taught me a lot of patience and that with things that you care about, things that you love. It takes patience to learn and patience to master. And I would say another thing, probably diversity in terms of music. Music is just, I feel like, is a world known language. Like everyone has their sort of music. And so I feel like diversity in terms of like who you play with, what you play, people you meet, it's just, yeah. It's really important, I think, for people to understand. I think through sounds, I've learned resilience the most because it's very difficult to accept when you failed and being able to stand up to that and come like from that and grow is extremely difficult as an individual person or if you're working with others, you kind of have to embrace who you are and find out that only the trials that you go through is what is going to make you stronger. I would say Thank you to Sounds for basically being a large part of my childhood and helping me to grow into the person I am today, which I can't really imagine my life anymore if I didn't do music, if I didn't, you know, meet Mr. Kirk back when I was in fifth grade and like, you know, seeing him now like as a graduating senior, I want to say thank you to Sounds for always making me feel like I had a chance and to discover something that I really loved. And also, thank you to everyone, including my parents, that helped me get through these like really difficult eight years of like, you know, school, music, sports, all of that, and in the middle of a pandemic.
Wow, that was truly amazing. Thank you to Peter, Tessa, and Chris for adding to the remarkable work that our students are doing. It's always a pleasure working with you. And also, can we please get two claps for our seniors? I am truly proud of Annika, Hannah, and Raymond. They are a huge part of the reason why we're here today. And they're a huge part of the reason why Sounds Academy is so successful. Raymond and Annika have actually been in Sounds Academy since the fifth grade. Now talk about perseverance. We're so, so proud of all three of our seniors. And as a testament to this, I'm proud to announce that we will be giving them each $1,000 as a scholarship to go towards their education. Thank you all for making that possible. Everything that you guys have seen today is the reason why I wake up every morning to try and spread music education opportunities throughout Arizona. And everything that you've seen today is absolutely the reason why you should donate. Please remember that you can still bid on silent auction prizes, and you can also still donate by texting Sounds Academy to 44321 or visiting soundsacademy.org slash donate. And for those of you that have always been donating and that have donated today, I'd like to give you guys two claps. I would like to thank our parents and our students. Students, thank you for always practicing and parents, thank you for always making sure that they are practicing. I would like to thank our board of directors for helping to drive us to be a better organization each and every day. I would like to thank our teachers for helping to motivate our children and helping to motivate the students to want to do more and be the best versions of themselves that they can be. I would like to thank our staff for helping to make this machine called Sounds Academy run every day. And last but not least, I'd like to thank the man behind the camera, Mr. Dorrell, and Always Timeless for Productions. We would not be able to show what we're doing without you. Thank you for showing the highlights of all of our students and helping them to shine. Thank you all for attending the Benefit Concert, and I look forward to seeing you guys next year.
David, David, thank you so much for helping to put this all together. No problem, no problem, man. I, I enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I was excited putting it together. Man, it's, it's been such a crazy year. And after this crazy year, I'm glad that we can see our students in their brightest moments. So thank you once again. My first time kind of putting something together for sounds and man, I, I, the level of excitement from the students and what they're learning there, it just, just amazed me. So, I mean, I, what you guys are doing there is just, it's, it's, it's bar none. Man, thank you. I, but I do, I do feel like there's another level though, something else, something more we should be doing. R more? Like, what, what, what are you thinking? Man, I don't know, but. We don't have a building yet, and I'm still trying to build that keyboard, the piano lab. Ooh. Ooh. Mm.